obviously uh, Pat, how is he and uh, obviously his back so that, that ongoing talking point, what's the latest? Yeah, I don't think there's anything worth writing about, he's just an old man now Pat with a couple of kids so he had father duty so yeah he's um, he's done it a number of years so he's passed the baton on to me for this trip. Yeah he's front of centre now as well as the boss of the Players Association too so I guess he's going to have many more commitments kind of across the country in an international role this season. Yeah absolutely, it's great for the players and it's great for rep representation for Western Australian players now to have Matthew in that role and um, he's a consummate professional, so he'll do a great job at that. Yeah, the captain's picked um, in the Brownlow this year. Do you feel extra pressure heading into the season? A few people have said that, actually. Um, no, it's it's humbling to be um, to be thought of in that way. I think probably Joel Selwood and Gary Ablett have, have got a few things to say about that before season's end, though. So much controversy last year involving the Tribunal. Um, how do you look back at all that now? Are you glad that the Tribunal system's changed? Oh, I'm really glad. It's been a it's been a, a really pragmatic way of dealing with with the way our game's going. There's so much contact, there's so much scrutiny now on players with camera angles from every different position. Um, it was almost ridiculous the way the game was going with the, with the tribunal, so I'm really happy with some of the changes. They've been really sensible. Yeah, that's too, and, and it's a great news story for you, isn't it? Do you, do you think that a fine is going to have the same impact or, or, do, or do you think it's actually fairer? Uh, I think it's a lot fairer. The problem that that players face is they're under such high scrutiny and pressure internally from their clubs and from their coaches and then vice versa they're for, under huge scrutiny from the match review panel so um, we're caught between between two rocks basically so having this get out of jail clause with the with the fine system is only going to help players. A couple more just quick questions the issues that you know we have to take off from um, Ryan Crowley how is he on a, on a personal level? Yeah Ryan's going okay he's he's um, somewhat relieved now that he can chat amongst the players and coaches about his issue and we can help him and Ryan's an extremely popular guy and uh, we'll offer him nothing but support. And Colin Sylvia, do you expect to see him back at Fremantle Oval or is he going to stick with Peel for a little while yet? Look, I hope so. He's Colin's got a, a strong set of guidelines that he needs to adhere to to get back to our footy club. We want to see him play, we know we can offer our footy club so we really want to see him back at Freer.